I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse Vlog. We're down on the T-Dub court today and I wanted to show you the Slinger ball machine that we have in stock and ready to ship out to you guys. Uh, this is one of the models we use actually down at the BMP Paribas open on our demo court in Indian Wells. So it's got a little bit of the desert sand still on it, but uh, this is a great ball machine. It comes in this really handy bag, so you can just wheel it around. It's super easy to get in and out of your vehicle and out onto the courts. It's battery operated, so you don't have to worry about plugging it in once you've got it fully charged and ready to go. Um, right up here is where you put the tennis balls in. It holds about two cases of tennis balls, which is really impressive amount of tennis balls. This is the business end of the machine down here, so it's where it fires the balls out and you just clip this flap over to the side and then when you're done you, uh, you can put it in there so it stays nice and secure when you get it into the vehicle. Comes with a ball tube as well. Now our mates down under at Tennis Only did a great video on all the features of this machine. You can see it in action as well. I do advise if you're using this machine to feed junior players, bring it on the same side of the court as the player, so it's on the same side of the net. Turn the speed way down because this ball does, uh, this ball machine does feed with a little bit of top spin on it. So uh, if you have it on the far side of the net and you've ramped up the speed, it's going to come out with pretty heavy top spin. So for the junior players or just beginning players, we recommend having this on the same side of the court as the hitter. Turn the speed down and it'll just fire the ball out nicely, be perfect for them to hit. Also comes with plenty of room for your rackets and I've got some vintage rackets for the vlog this week, stuffed right here in the top of the bag. Uh, first up, I've got the Tracy Austin Spalding Pro Player prototype right here. So this is one of the rackets she was testing when she was moving out and looking for a new model. And here's one from uh, Pro Stock from Spalding right there. We've had these on the vlog before. Beautiful rackets, great ones to get out and hit. They play really, really nicely as well. Next up, let's have a look what we got. We've got a Guillermo Vilas Slazenger made in England like me. Um, this is a great racket, plays great, beautiful to look at, uh, good one to hang on the wall and also get out there and hit. I love those. Big VLAS fan and big fan of that racket right there. Next up, if you're a fan of head rackets, you've got to have one of these Arthur Ashe competitions in your collection. This is the competition three. The original um, Arthur Ashe composite racket was the first uh, head racket to win a Grand Slam. So you want to get one of these in your collection if you're a head fan. And um, Arthur Ashe definitely put these to good use out there on the Pro Tour. And these are beautiful rackets. You've got the um, composite construction right here, graphite composite. They're great collectible, fun one to get out and hit as well. And then last but not least, we've got a Pro Stock um, racket. This one is very cl close to the uh, retail version of the head um, Flex Point Prestige. But this one um, is a, listed as a standard length, but it's actually a longer length racket here. But it does have the flex points. Some of those uh, were painted on on some of the Pro Stock rackets. This one actually has them. And uh, it's one of our Bosworth collection rackets. So uh, that's a, a great one to get out and hit. Fun racket right there as well. All right, that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.